Good morning, Michael here, looking at Psalms 13, verse 1 for the exposition. And uh, the psalm is subtitled, How Long, O Lord? And verse 1 reads, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? And we look to the treasure of David, written by Charles Spurgeon, for the exposition. How long? This question is repeated no less than four times. It betokens very intense desire for deliverance and great anguish of heart. And what if there be some impatience mingled therewith? Is not this the more true portrait of our own experience? It is not easy to prevent desire from degenerating into impatience. Oh, for grace that while we wait on God, we may be kept from indulging a murmuring spirit. How long does not the oft-repeated cry become a very howling? And what if grief should find no other means of utterance? Even then, God is not far from the voice of our roaring. For he does not regard the music of our prayers, but his own spirits work in them in exciting desire and inflaming the affections. How long, ah, how long do our days appear when our soul is cast down within us? How wearily the moments seem to glide, or sadness, how the time delights to linger in its flight. Time flies with full-fledged wing in our summer days, but in our winter he flutters painfully. A week within prison walls is longer than a month at liberty. Long sorrows seem to argue a bounding corruption, for the gold which is long in the fire must have had much dross to be consumed. Hence the question, how long may suggest deep searching of heart. How long wilt thou forget me? Ah, David, how like a fool thou talkest. Can God forget? Can omniscience fail in memory? Above all, can Jehovah's heart forget his own beloved child? Ah, brethren, let us drive away the thought and hear the voice of our covenant God by the mouth of the prophet. But Zion said, the Lord hath forsaken me, and my Lord hath forgotten me. Can a woman forget her suckling child, that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Behold, I have graven thee up on the palms of my hands. Thy wars are continually before me, forever. O dark thought! It was surely bad enough to suspect a temporary forgetfulness. But shall we ask the ungracious question and imagine that the Lord will forever cast away his people? No, his anger may endure for a night, but his love shall abide eternally. How long will thou hide thy face from me? This is a far more rational question. For God may hide his face, and yet he may remember still. A hidden face is no sign of a forgetful heart. It is in love that his face is turned away. Yet to a child of God, this hiding of his father's face is terrible, and he will never be at ease until, once more, he hath his father's smile. Indeed, indeed, forget me not, O Lord. Trust you enjoyed that exposition on verse 1, and I know you look forward to further breakdown of this song. Michael here yet again declaring, Jesus is Lord. Until next time, be blessed.